got something now. Okay. Is it still going? Yeah. Okay. Let me move the mic to like here because your chin hair is getting on. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's like just. Yeah, exactly. I play with it a lot too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you should be good now. All right, all right, all right. Silverton is in like the heart of the San Juan Mountains in southern Colorado. Um, so it's a really big area full of just massive gnarly mountains and lots of opportunity to go backcountry skiing. The backcountry access in Silverton is typically greater than most other areas due to like the heritage of mining around there. So there's all these old mining roads that we can utilize snowmobiles and get really far out into the backcountry with snowmobile access and get after some really fun objectives. So I planned the trip to bring down all the Bishop athletes um, down to Silverton during a, a good time of the season that's typically more stable and usually has more fresh pow. Typically around then, it's like big line season. Like you're, you're topping out in big peaks with like gnarly descents. We didn't quite get the big, big lines. Because of that snowpack, the lower amount of snow, they had more weak layers and more hazards to mitigate. We definitely had to step everything back, but it was stable enough to go after some really fun objectives and ski really fun lines, but nothing too insane. The first day was great. Uh, you know, we started small, but we had nice snow in the morning, giving us a nice amount of like play snow to kind of butter around on some a little bit harder surfaces, but it made it really soft and kind of cruisy and surfy fun. No, we're at the same spot we just transitioned. Did that, nice. Perfect, that's exactly where I wanted him to be. Oh, dude, Greg is killer line. Let's go. Oh, yeah. You can keep going if you want. It's all good. You had momentum, no longer. Dude, nice, nice line. Yeah, oh, you yeah. hit that right where I was hoping. Uh, the morning routine at the Silverton Sauna is wake up around 6 a.m. and start making breakfast burritos for the boys. <laughs> Sweet potatoes, eggs, bell peppers, onions, sometimes bacon. It's pretty good. <laughs> Gotta feed the boys. <laughs> I mean, day two, we uh, headed up to one of my favorite zones uh, off of Benita Mountain. Uh, we started on some south facing stuff to kind of get the lay of the land, see what the snow is doing, take the the safest route first essentially and then after we did that we were able to step it up a bit we went and dug a pit 
and then we went and tested a west facing slope, a huge line, and it ended up being really good to go. And we had one of the better lines of the entire week that day. Marshall, drop it in time. Uh, you know, end of the day, ski bum life, you get back to the trailer, you know, with all the sleds, load them up, crack a few beers, hang out, decompress, talk about the day, see what went right, what went wrong, um, make it back to the house, start cooking dinner, and just hanging out, getting getting that GoPro footage, yo. <laughs> Day three, not only were we had the best snow conditions, we were all feeling confident with the snow, but we also were able to have Dave and Casey join us that day, which was awesome. Devolving temptations Break the bonds we've built Rooted in patience Keep the blood we spill In draws to display it For our distorted sights Just to defend 
It's like the reason you find passion in any sport in any community. It's not about the like the, that turn or that like day in particular. It's about doing it with the other people the whole time. Though it would have been really nice if there was actually powder. <laughs>